Welcome to Unbiased and On the Fence. I'm Shane. Well, I wanted to do a quick video for retro causality because when I heard about it, I thought it's a plausible theory. Um, but one of the things that has come to me is that I've realized that, you know, with the Mandela effect, I believe it's a wake up call and that it's supposed to uh, move us from being stagnant into being active. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I saw CERN uh, being sort of a dead end because what are you going to do with that if CERN was? Uh, if CERN really were ca causing it and um, you know there's really nothing you can do about that it's it's sort of a dead end so I believe CERN is up to things and uh, but I don't believe they're the cause of the Mandela effect and uh, I don't believe it's uh, random it seems really purposeful and I've covered all this before and you can check out the video I did not too long ago that explains why I believe this is a, a wake-up call um, I believe there's a lot of indicators as to it being a wake-up call. And I believe any theory that sort of moves us away from waking up and just being stagnant and waiting uh, is sort of counterproductive to the whole uh, uh, purpose of the Mandela Effect, to wake us up. So while I think, uh, you know, retrocausality, uh, I've taken it, I've put it on the shelf as a viable theory, but uh, I think to do any more than that with it is to sort of, uh, if, it's, if, if you were, you know, awakened by the Mandela effect and then you have a worldview that didn't make sense anymore and then uh, this uh, retro causality comes along and it says, oh, and it makes it to where you can say, oh, well, my worldview does make sense again. Uh, we can just sit back and relax because... Uh, my worldview still fits, it's just that these are ripples back in time that make it seem like it's not fitting. Then the whole point of it being a wake-up call is no longer valid anymore. If uh, you've taken this theory, retrocausality, and you say, oh, okay, uh, finally I can relax, my worldview fits, uh, I think it's important that we go back to the chalkboard, clear it off, realize that we really don't know anything because everything we have comes from man and man can be wrong. Uh, I think that's been proven over history. So, well, I think, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a theory you can put on the shelf. You can take it and say, well, maybe that is what's happening, sure. But if it's served as a means for you to sit back and relax and move back from, go from activity back to being stagnant and not really doing anything, then I feel like, you know, you might as well think it's CERN or any of these other things that uh, sort of takes it from being in your hands and being a part of something to just sitting back and observing it. I think uh, that's sort of the whole uh, key to this thing is that, uh, you know, if you want to look at it as a, a viable, uh, you know, it, it is just uh, speculation. We've got to keep that in mind. This isn't, no one can prove retro causality. But when it makes it to where you can fit your worldview that you, you've had that didn't fit, and then this comes along and you say, oh, well, my worldview does fit with this retro causality, then it's sort of undone the whole purpose of the Mandela Effect. And I felt uh, I had to take a little pause from doing the I Am videos because I feel like they're very important. But uh, I've had things sort of bring my uh, life to a grind, grinding halt until I did this video. I really didn't want to do this video because I, I just think people should just believe whatever they want to believe. And, uh, and I still believe that, but just as long as it doesn't lead to, lead to uh, people being stagnant, I think that's the important thing. And if this just gets to one person that sort of was awakened and then they're like, oh, well, I can just sit back and relax and, and wait, I don't believe we're supposed to wait for something. I believe we're supposed to take an active role in this whole awakening process and so that's really my main thing with the retro causality sure it can make sense but if it leads to inactivity then it could be a bad thing it could be a counter move so to speak as people move from realizing oh this can't really be CERN um, and then retro causality comes along and does the same thing CERN would do with as far as us as individuals and being active in the community mm. and things like that. So with that, I'll leave you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.